Throughout history, there have been tales about ships carrying massive hordes of treasure across the world's oceans. Yet every so often, and for various reasons, these ships will end up sinking to the bottom of the sea. Taking their billion dollar fortune with them, the shipwrecks exact locations often remain a mystery to this day. Today, we're going to see some of the extremely valuable treasures that are still awaiting to be discovered in waters across the globe. One of which involves a lost Egyptian sarcophagus. We'll examine their incredible stories and the value of their precious cargo. So, let's get started. All the way back in 1715, the War of Succession had heavily depleted Spain's finances. In order to gather a money injection, the country sent their treasure fleet to collect riches from Havana, Cuba. Twelve ships were part of this mission. Each one of the boats was laden with gold, silver, and other valuable items. A week after departing Cuba to return to Spain, the fleet was near Vero Beach, Florida. Suddenly, the crew got a horrible surprise. A huge hurricane swept over them. Only one of the boats managed to survive the battering from Mother Nature and return home. Those that survived immediately tried to salvage what they could as the boat sank. However, around half of the treasure hoard was lost to the water. There are estimates that the remaining treasure is valued at as much as $2 billion in today's currency. In 2015, the salvage company Queen's Jewels found a portion of the lost treasure. They located 350 coins with a value of $4.5 million. Not all lost treasures are gold. In 1837, British soldier and Egyptologist Richard Vise and engineer John Paring were excavating the Pyramid of Mankura. The two found the burial chamber and within, the sarcophagus of Mankura. They decided to send the ancient coffin back to the British Museum in London. Two ships were sent in 1838. One was the merchant ship, Beatrice, that contained the sarcophagus. Shortly after leaving the port of Malta, the Beatrice sank for unknown reasons, losing a massive portion of human history to the ocean. As for the monetary value, it's difficult to put an exact figure to it. However, in 2011, a black market smuggling ring was dismantled by authorities in New York. Within their collection was a sarcophagus. The total value of the items was around $2.5 million. In 2014, the lid of a sarcophagus was discovered in Essex, England. It was sold at auction for 12,000 pounds, or around $15,800. In 1942, the SS city of Cairo was departing Cape Town, South Africa. It was a British passenger steamship that was taking a number of supplies back to the UK, including timber, wool, and most valuably, 2,000 boxes of silver coins. Around 480 miles from the island of St. Helena, a German U-boat fired multiple torpedoes at the Cairo. The captain of the German U-boat, Carl Friedrich Merton, spoke to the survivors afterwards as he was seeking further information. He famously ended the conversation by stating, quote, Good night and sorry for sinking you. The ship had contained 301 people altogether. 207 people survived the sinking and the cargo was lost to the Atlantic Ocean. In 2015, news broke that treasure hunters had found the shipwreck of the Cairo. With it, they also located a large portion of the ship's boxes of silver, the value of which was stated to be around $50 million. But there are still boxes and supplies unaccounted for. The Musca were an ancient civilization in Colombia, South America. One of their sacred places was Lake Guadavita. According to legend, the ruler of the area, known as Zipa, would be covered in gold dust for a particular ritual. They then went out into the lake on a raft made from rushes. The Zipa would dive into the water and wash off the gold. The Musca people would then throw their valuables into the water, such as gold, jewels, and other precious metals and gems. It's believed this ritual is the basis of the tale of El Dorado, which translates as the Golden One. Throughout history, there's been speculation that Lake Guadavita could hold as much as $300 million in gold. However, even though the lake has been drained, little has been found. Roughly only treasures with a value of $500,000 altogether have been found. The last official search was over 100 years ago. Eventually, in 1965, the Colombian government made private searches illegal at the lake. In 1941, a large convoy of ships were traveling from India to Britain. One of those boats was the former merchant ship, the SS Garisopa. 
Named after a town in India, on board, the Garisopa had a cargo of goods for the UK, including an estimated 200 tons of silver ingots. However, due to the storm and the Garisopa running low on fuel, the ship broke from the convoy to instead go to Galway, Ireland to repair and refuel. When the ship was around 300 miles from Galway, it was then that a German submarine approached and attacked the Garisopa with torpedoes, causing the ship and the cargo to sink to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. In 2011, the Garisopa shipwreck was discovered in the sea around 2.9 miles below the surface. In 2013, it was announced that along with other finds, 61 tons of silver was recovered. It had an estimated value of $210 million, with roughly a further $480 million waiting to be found. Within the Austrian Alps lies Lake Toplitz. Only the upper 60 feet of the water is fresh. Below that, under a barricade of tree debris, the water is extremely salty and virtually has no oxygen. As a result, anything at the bottom of the lake would be protected from decay. In 1945, conducted by the Germans, Operation Bernhard was coming to an end. The operation involved counterfeiting British banknotes and releasing them across the island to destabilize the UK economy. The total value of the notes was said to amount to at most 300 million pounds, or 394 million dollars. Since the operation was terminated, Lake Toplitz was said to have been used as a dumping ground. The forged notes and the equipment used in Operation Bernhard were dropped in the water. There is also speculation that a huge amount of gold was dumped in the water by the Germans, all in order to keep it out of the enemy's hands. However, due to the dangerous diving conditions, no gold has been found so far. In 1909, the RMS Republic was departing New York for a voyage to Gibraltar and various ports in the Mediterranean. The ship was one of the best passenger vessels at the time, earning the nickname of the millionaire ship. Like the Titanic, it too was considered unsinkable. After departing, the Republic soon hit heavy fog off the coast of Massachusetts. Out of the dense fog, the Italian-operated ship, the SS Florida, smashed into the side of the Republic. The hull was punctured and the ship began to flood. 1,500 passengers from both ships were rescued altogether. The broken Republic was towed, but the damage caused it to sink before it reached land. On top of the wealthy passengers' luggage, the Republic also held a load of relief and military supplies. There's also reports that it held $3 million worth of U.S. gold double eagle coins. The coins are said to be worth over $1 billion today. The Republic shipwreck was found in 1981, however, the cargo's whereabouts remain a mystery. After trading with the Spanish in the West Indies for a number of years, in 1641, the Merchant Royal was sailing back to England. However, they spotted a Spanish ship that was on fire. For a fee, the crew of the Royal offered to carry the cargo for them and deliver it to the harbor in Antwerp, Belgium. This extra weight proved to be a big mistake. A mixture of the ship being in poor condition, the pumps breaking, the excess weight and bad weather, the Royal began leaking water. The ship eventually sank off the coast of Cornwall, England. Within the ship's cargo was around 400 bars of Mexican silver valued at around $1 million today. There was also gold that had a total weight of 100,000 pounds. Today, it would be worth $1.5 billion. In 2019, a fishing vessel found an anchor lodged within its net. The anchor appears to belong to the Merchant Royal, giving treasure hunters a narrower location on where to find the rich cargo. Which of these treasures would you like to find? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video and want to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. All those actions really help us out. Finally, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.